Hi everyone, today we're going to read a book and the title is Dinosaur Woods by George McClemens. So he was the author, he wrote the words and he was the illustrator. He drew the pictures, very good. Can seven clever critters save their forest home? What do you think this book is going to be about? Looking at the cover page. Let's turn it over and look at the back and see if it gives us any more information. It's going to take something new, something big, something amazing to save these woods. And there's a sign down here at the bottom. Future home of another plastic trees factory. <gasps> Clearing starts in four days. Do you think it might be about saving the forest? Let's read and find out. For my pack, Rachel, Samuel, and Matthew. In four days, seven friends were going to lose their home. This troubled them greatly. Let's look at the characters. It looks like this page introduces them. This is Richard and Rachel. Ow, stop it. Milton, huh? Jimbo, not cough. Is anyone else hot? This is Luke. And this is Rojo. They tried to speak to the people responsible. Oops, um, could we chat? Hello up there. Anybody home? But for some reason, no one would listen. Mm -mm. What do you think they're going to ask? These people, what are they trying to ask them? What are we going to do? Asked Luke. We've tried everything. Sorry, Milton. Watch those feet. I know, said Rojo, but we can't give up. We need something new, something big, something amazing. Hmm. What do they need? What are they trying to do? So the friends started thinking and thinking and thinking until Rojo was struck by an idea. Actually, it was a piece of paper. Come see the amazing dinosaurs feel lifelike robotics. Truly the most special animals to have walked the earth. Polyontologist. They're the cat's meow. Hey, daddy-o, old slang weekly. These dinosaurs will surely add some pizzazz to your day, snappy fingers. Only at the big time convention center. That's it, he cried. Oh, we'll build a dinosaur. There's no way they'll tear down our home if they think a dinosaur lives here. Everyone agreed. Do you agree? Do you think that's a good idea? Do you think they'll be able to scare them away with a dinosaur? Cough. The friends spent the rest of the day collecting materials. Sticks, leaves, vines, logs, borrowed burlap. Do I hear power tools? Yep, big ones. Then Rojo spent the next 36 hours working in total secrecy until, what do you think Rojo was working on? The dinosaur was finished. How does it work? Asked Jimbo. How do you think it works? Looks like there's a ladder going up inside. What did he use to make the dinosaur? What does it look like his teeth are made from? Trees? It's easy, said Rojo. First we climb in. Second, we take our pre-assigned stations. And third, we scare away the guys on the bulldozers. Look, said Luke, someone's coming. So we get rid of that tree, that one, that one. Two men making their final demolition check entered the clearing. So demolition means that they're going to knock the trees down. They're going to clear the land. Quick, everyone to your station, shouted Rojo. Basically, all of them. So he's saying, basically, we're going to knock down all of the trees. We're going to demo all of the trees. And there they are going inside of the dinosaur. I wonder if their plan will work. 
Rojo took a deep breath. He crossed his fingers and then he roared a terrible roar. It worked. The men ran for their lives. Yikes. We got to tell somebody. Oh my goodness. So it worked. Do you think the men are going to come back or do you think they'll be gone forever? Did they save the forest? Let's read and find out. As word of the dinosaur spread, scientists and news crews from around the world flocked to the tiny patch of woods. This is great, said Rojo. Nothing can go wrong now. Let me see. No, I think I'm overheating. Really? What do you think could go wrong? Do you think they're in the clear? Hmm, I don't know. And that's when it did. It was chaos inside the dinosaur. <coughs> Whoops, hey, look out, my rattle, no hands. But the biggest problem, that came when Rojo failed to notice a cable on the ground. Biggest problem. <gasps> Uh-oh, what do you think's going to happen? You're right, he probably trips. <gasps> Crash! Oh no, what happened to the dinosaur? I hope the friends inside are okay. These are really big capital letters. I bet that was a really loud noise, a really big crash. When the dust cleared, the friends found themselves surrounded by cameras and clipboards. Get ready for some shouting, said Rojo. And he was right. Oh no, look at their faces. How do you think they feel? They look a little worried, maybe scared, nervous. All of these news cameras are around them. There was shouting, excited shouting, a big mouth jinx fox, a bronchial woodpecker, a Himalayan frost bear, crabby face punching rabbits, a left footed klutz deer, a drop tail adder. <gasps> What do you think that means? So the reporters are noticing the animals. It turned out that the friends were something called endangered and in Milton's case, extinct. An important scientist declared the tiny patch of woods a protected site and she named it Dinosaur Woods. So endangered, when an animal is endangered or something is endangered, it means that it is in danger of not existing anymore. That means there are very few left. And if something is considered extinct, that means that it doesn't exist at all. There are zero left of its kind. So if we find something that we think is endangered or especially extinct, it's really important that we protect it. So in the end, the small group of friends did have something to save their home. What did they have to save their home? Who saved their home? Dinosaur Woods Nature Preserve. It wasn't new, it wasn't big, but it was amazing. I knew it all along. They had each other. Ready or not, here I come. <coughs> Boo, whoops, shh, ah, you shh, I'm tall. Dinosaur Woods Nature Preserve. Build your own dinosaur. So here are some directions on the back of the book of how we can build our own dinosaur. Hmm. So the first step is find some interesting paper, sketch a dinosaur, any kind you want, or try the one from the book, but don't draw the legs. Use crayon or colored pencil to give your dino some detail. Number four, use a penny, trace two circles for the dinosaur legs, cut out the dinosaur in the two circles, stick your fingers through the holes and ta-da, your dinosaur is on the move. Now go scare away some bad guys. 